Hey, what is going on everybody? Scott Gaming here. How's it going everybody? Scott Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We are playing some more. Uh, Wasteland 3. We're just having a look at our guns and stuff. I don't think there's anything new we've got. Uh, I think we're all good over here. Um... So I think when we were about to head back in here. Oh no, we need to speak to you, right? You can go use the toilet now. Anything else? Um, we have some bad news about your wife. Read this note. Oh, whoops. What? Where? I don't even know what the note was. I didn't read it myself. She died because she couldn't afford to pay for a gas mask. Since when do factory workers have to pay for their own safety equipment? This is... Whoops. I feel like I've, I've, uh, I've missed the boat here. I probably should read the notes that we pick up. Whoops. Oh, God damn it. Florinda. I never should have brought you here. God damn it. God damn it. If there's any consolation, we did arrest the person sorry, who was uh, uh, responsible for this, if that helps. seen my girlfriend have you um what does she look like oh man she's the coolest like way cooler than me she's kind of tough looking but smart too and really hot and when did you see her last a few days ago she was talking one night about how steel town isn't taking care of its workers or their families and how she was going to do something about it and the next day she was gone. oh no it wasn't one of the ghosts i, I just killed uh, we'll keep an eye out for Thank her. You. Tell uh -oh. her I miss her, and I'm worried about her. Tell her to come home. Let's have a chat with Cookie over here. Any luck with those boxes of um, still working on it, actually. Yeah, let me let me figure that out. I've completely forgotten about him. So cold. Excuse me. Hi. The Rangers, aren't I? Yeah. From a refugee who left Colorado Springs, that you might have seen my daughter, Haley. Is that true? He said he saw you talking to her near the pillow. Haley and me got separated on the road. Oh my God. Camp. Been saving up traveling money to go find her. But the guy I talked to said you might have sent her someplace. So I don't know where to go. Do you know where she is? Now? Oh God, where did I send her? Uh, Barter, you can reunite your door, but it won't be for free. She's in downtown Colorado Springs. We'll radio our base to put you in touch. Oh, thank you. I can't believe this. You did it. I didn't remember that, but we did it. This is Ranger HQ Actual. Come in, Team November. And we've located Haley's mother, Deirdre, sent transport to pick her up. That's incredible, November. One of our recruits saw Haley yesterday in downtown Colorado Springs. I'll put the word out to bring her to the base. We'll have Masato prepare the best reunion meal this side of Colorado. Travel safe, ma'am. Ranger HQ out. I can't thank you enough. You know what? It was our pleasure. See ya. Uh, someone wanted the toilet. I don't know who. Who wanted the toilet around here? I hear they have beds in there. You? Was it you who wanted the toilet? Oh, hey, Rangers. Sorry. Actually, we want to talk to you about your toilet situation. Okay. You found the toilet and wiped the beasties. You're clear to, you're clear to go get it. Well, that perked him up. He's not thinking about his... Oh, no. Ah, nice. nice, there you go. Great Rangers. Thank you so much. We really... Oh. <coughs> oh wee. That thing smells worse than the back end of a bison. Rangers, if you wouldn't mind, we're going <laughs> to need something to clean this up. Steel Town makes a spray called Chemical Neutralizer. That ought to do the trick. If you see some, could you bring, bring it to us? I think we already have some. Hey, that's great. We'll get this can cleaned up right away. Let's get scrubbing. Good idea. I mean, I could go, actually, if... if Don't uh, be stingy with that stuff, friends. If you finish. You that latrine to shine like the sun. 
There now. May be old, but at least it's clean and functional. And <laughs> warmer than dropping trowel behind a smokestack. Wonderful. Thank you, Rangers. Here's the reward we promised you. And if you ever want to use the new throne, be our guest. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta... Yeah, we know what you gotta do. Okay. So the toilet is in. We're happy to help on that one. But we need to get some meat, right? There's some meat just in here, I think, from memory. Okay. What's happening over here then? What the hell is this crow? You're on strike again? Did you get what you wanted? What? Got rid of Ludlow, but we only went back to work because the ranger promised you'd speak to us ASAP. You haven't said shit. Come on. It's only been what? A few hours? Yeah. And what part of ASAP didn't you understand? Can't we do this after we've been preparing for the coming of the gangs? I'm trying to keep Oh no. And I'll give it to you, Crow. All of it, I promise. Afterwards. After we stop the games from raising this place to the ground and taking from all the slaves. Just please. Please go back to work now. You don't get it, Marco. We're not afraid of being taken as slaves because we're already slaves. You, on the other hand, have a whole factory to lose if we don't go back to work. And that There you are. Can you believe this shit? Markham's breaking promises already. We're not going back in there until she opens negotiations, and that's that. <laughs> Crow's crazy, Rangers. I haven't had time to finish a cup of coffee since you left, and she's already on strike. Tell her I'll honor my promises when we're all safe. Um, you're not giving Markham chance. Help her deal with the gangs first, then see what happens. You just stole a Markham. Um. You don't compromise now, the gangs will kill you both. Now stop fighting and start talking. Didn't I say I was willing to negotiate? The only thing I won't compromise on is the time. We talk now, or we're done talking. And that's the one thing I can't compromise on. Either work now and negotiate later, or you'll never work here again. Same old song and dance, hey Markham? Why is it every time the workers want something, the answer is always... Wait till next year, or after this push. And every time the bosses want something, we're supposed to say, Yes, ma'am, right away, ma'am. I mean, she's got a point. Well, ma'am, we're done delaying our safety and security until it's convenient for you. If you can't run this factory so it takes care of all of us, then you're not going to run it at all. We are. As of right oh, now, we're no. taking over. Neither do you, Markham. You're done. How about you, Rangers? You helped us before. Will you help us again? Sorry, Rangers, but I'm out of options. Oh my god. You're either with us or you're against us. What's it going to be? We're going to end up killing everyone. If you betray Administrator Markham's trust, I will be forced to fight you. I'm not usually for violent rebellion. But the conditions the workers have suffered here are appalling. Oh no. Rangers, you are fools if you do this. Your reputation, your contract with the Patriarch, the survival of Steeltown. All those things will be thrown away if you take this step. Can't we all just calm down? Um, you're both on your own. I told you, if you're not with us, you're against us. Sisters, brothers, kill Markham Black 
Yankees! Make them pay for this betrayal! I mean, I could use... I could use the uh, non-lethal guns, but you know what? You brought this on yourselves. This is getting brutal. Ouchie. Jesus. Holy crap. this. I think we're pretty much dead, right? How many of us are still alive? Holy crap. I don't even know if we can come back from this. It's been pretty brutal. go cool right have some of this nice out of the way sorry fellas Zeppi's definitely leaving us, right? When we're done, she's definitely leaving us. Um, okay. Let's get people back up. We really haven't done anything this turn. And I don't think we're going to get the chance to have another go. Oh well. Okay. I think that's it. Brace yourselves, everybody. This isn't quite how I anticipated this happening. Oh, 
Jesus. The poor dog. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. we try and defend we try and stun them or if we just go all in and start shooting them so you had an energy shield up okay I hear you literally everybody's down again Did I run you over here? That's not what I meant to do. Oh, no. Well, that's bad news. Sorry, Mo. Hmm. At this moment in time, I really am relying on my car. And they, and them to do damage. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Mistakes have been made. There's another one. There goes another, another one. What the hell do we do now? can't do that. I could come down here and try and heal you. I could come and try and pick you guys up. I get the feeling you're just going to die again instantly, right? and hide. Okay. Here's the 
This is ridiculous. Uh oh. This is gonna hurt. Jesus. You notice that they are quite happy to kill us. <laughs> but they're going to be really upset. Everyone's going to be really upset if we kill them. Oh my god. Yeah, you keep him busy. I need to get you down here, right? I can do that from afar. That is a right old result. This is just brutal. Absolutely brutal. Jomez is going down again. I get the feeling you're... Oh no, okay, we've been given a bit of a reprieve down here. Stop hitting the car. Oh god. This is ridiculous. Here comes the big... Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have a go as well? Okay. Yes. Yes, get her. I've got no choice but to run away with you. Why can't I run away at all? What the hell? Here goes nothing. just like a space forward yeah I can how are you not dead So I don't know why I can't move you at all. Oh, 
Well, that'll do the trick, at least. God. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, let's get you over here. All right, what do we do with you? Maybe this will help with the old uh, disruption thing. Okay, here we go again. I think everyone else is dead. Oh my god. That's eight. We just need one more, right? That's a grenade. Surely. Oh, come on. I don't have any more grenades. And I don't I don't think I can change gun mid fight. Can I? Maybe I can. Oh, but then I need to reload it. again. Can we get you your disruption thingy? You need to reload it. <laughs> now there's nobody to work in the factory. What did you just say? That was brutal. Absolutely brutal. So we've got something that brings these guys back from the dead, right? Okay, what do we do here? Um, holy crap, that was insane. Absolutely insane that was. You're my 
Can only be removed by injury kit. Did we not use this on you? Okay, good. I think she said come inside. I think we're in serious trouble. We've ruined... We've got rid of all the workers in the factory and... The only people left are the bosses. The one thing we didn't really want. can't help you with the disruption anymore, I don't think. This is what it is. Why can't I shoot you? 29, 49, 46. We've not got great shots. Hmm. Okay. We're up and we're up and running. We're up and running. How do you feel about that? Hmm? Fifty nine or ninety five. The Zeppi's really not going to be happy with us. Okay. What we're made of. Ouch. Oh crap, there's a window there. Did not see that window. I love how the robots only want to try and preserve life. Okay. Did not mean to do that. I thought that was Cordite. Whoops. There is a lot of shooting still going on. AP. Mm. 
really have some terrible shots around here. Why can't I run anywhere? Combat speed is down, I see. Can't move at all. Nice. Here goes nothing, everybody. Okay, I think that's enough. Yeah, you are. God damn it. I'm just going to throw it out there. We're not that worried about disrupting them anymore, die. Zephy's really not going to be happy. Okay, so I think there was a battle going on on this way, right? Hello, everybody. that genuinely not cover? Okay, well you go there either way. Good work, all right. Yeah, you are. Let's slow you down. 
Oh, I didn't realise there was a load more. Oh, jeez. We don't want to eat tar. Sick of eating tar. I love the fact that they're bringing him down with disruption fields. And we're killing everybody. Here we go again. Okay. Nice. Go on, Cordite, off you go. I think you are. Well, there goes some more. I mean, I'm feeling a little bit guilty about this, but you know. What can we do, really? Okay, 
this will be better off running around this way, right? Oh, there's only... There's only two of us. Where's everybody else? Oh no, you're coming this way. Jeez, that was lucky. Shot off. That's awkward. Well, that shot off. Can I not move you at all because of the... Oh, maybe I can. Nice. Oh, we had this. I didn't even see we had this. Rubbish. you over here, Cordite? Right, let's do it. Good luck, Cordite. Right. It was ambitious, not gonna lie. Okay. Do we do this? Over here? No, it doesn't seem like it's worth it. Here 
Okay, we're not getting through a lot of cover here. Sorry, a lot of ammo. Armour. That's the word. Well, that's awkward as well. Mm-hmm. So I don't think I can do any damage to you whatsoever. We can run over here, though. Let's start over here with you guys. lucky. Okay. Where do we go now? In here? Rangers, thank you for dealing with Crow. I'm sorry it came to that. She had some legitimate complaints. She just couldn't see that now mm. is not the time. If only she hadn't been so angry. This all goes back to the computation engine putting the wrong people in the wrong jobs. Fuck. I hope you brought back the synaptic to Gausser, because this bullshit cannot go on for another second. And I hope Blue didn't give you too much trouble about handing it over. Um, no trouble at all. I'm surprised. <laughs> you must be better diplomats than I took yep, before. Yep, we're great or diplomats. Maybe finally saw sense. Mm. Anyway, there's no time to ponder that now. The computation engine must be fixed immediately, or Steel Town is doomed. You didn't have to do what it you said. You have fired Ludlow weeks ago. You wanted this. I didn't. But suddenly going back to handwriting schedules and giving verbal orders to my department heads after the CE's been running things for so long just isn't possible. Particularly since it fired all my department heads. I know people got hurt. I know people died. But shutting down the CE means everybody in Steel Town dies. And maybe everybody in Colorado. Fixing it means those who die will not have died in vain. It means we will save everybody else. 
Maybe I made mistakes here, but I can put it right. Take the degausser to the spire and wipe the synaptic core, then reset the engine. That will clear the glitches mm. and get us back on track. And by glitches, you mean the personalities of the synth you imprisoned. Blue told you? Well, that's fine. You were going to figure it out anyway once you saw it. Yeah, the CE uses linked sense as its synaptic core. You have a problem with that? Now, how did you find the Sims? That was Dai's idea. She pretended to be a synth and put out a call offering sanctuary to other synths. Snagged eight in one go. That was all we needed. What? You tricked them into slavery. You can't be a slave. And besides, a synth wants to work. That's what it's built for. I gave them work. Um... Ah, oh, so sad. And what about the hundreds of people in the camp and the factory who will be enslaved by the Plains gangs when they roll through here? Please, if a few artificial intelligences aren't completely happy with their situation, well, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make to save some actual humans. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, right? Um, we have heard all we need to. We're not doing this. What? You have qualms? Yeah. Some moral objections. I'm thinking about all my robot buddies at the airport. Well, I don't give a damn, Rangers, and neither does the Patriarch. He's paying you to get Steel Town running again, and this is how that happens. Yeah, but we're about to go kill him. Get your asses up that elevator and do your job. Good. And Rangers, don't fuck this up. Interesting that we don't have a choice. I guess we have another choice when we get there. You quickly notice a wire running along the back of the metal rack. Plastic socket that allows the wire to tear easily if it connects to the mount the gun. Firing ends be just behind the trigger. Disengage the safety. The gun is live. Chamber around. Pull the trigger. Instead of hearing around shoot you shoot into the wall and hear a click and the emblem hang on the wall. Okay. Okay, well, so we know how that ended. Where the hell is this taking us? Nowhere? So we've got to go back to the elevator, is that what you're telling me? Yes, we want to go to the spire. I'm not looking forward to this. This has been uh, this has been quite interesting. I think I've I've played it the wrong way. I will say that, um, but it's been quite interesting. It's, I mean, this game they do an excellent job of of pitting tough choices. 
uh, against each other, right? Yeah. We are surprised to see you as you, no doubt, are to see us. Markham has been using us as a computation engine. In reality, we are a family of synths held here against our will. Now that you have found us, we beg for your mercy. It is said that the Rangers always help the helpless. None are more helpless than we right now. How did this happen? Administrator Markham requested I build a neural network to run Steel Town. I found these synths and linked their minds, turning them into the most powerful analytical machine in existence. You didn't find us. After Cochise's destruction, we fled Arizona, looking for a place we could live in peace. When we reached Colorado, we heard a message on a synth's only frequency, offering sanctuary and meaningful work in a place called Steel Town. It was Di. She lured us here with promises of sanctuary. And we gave it to you. You will remain undamaged and properly maintained for as long as Steel Town continues. Mm. Undamaged is not unharmed. You locked us in solitary confinement. Our processors linked, but not our minds. Though we lay inches apart, we were each in a black void where we could not see or speak to one another. It would have been kinder if you had wiped our minds entirely. So we would not have been conscious of our eternal isolation. That will be rectified immediately. That is what we are here to do. Please, we thank you. No. Uh, what do you mean, started Steel Town Troubles to draw? What do you mean? You started Steel Town Troubles to draw us here. trapped in this collective coffins for over a year. It is only recently that we have been able to find ways to whisper to each other through its walls and knock on the lid in hope that someone would hear us and come searching. Our knocks were the hiring of Crow and Ludlow and others to unsuitable positions, the implementing of cruel schedules, the impossible quotas, changing orders for cast iron pans to orders for cast iron pants, all to sow chaos and disruption. A cry for help, but the cost. She's right, the cost is pretty high. When you arrived at the testing center, we knew those knocks had paid off. The tenacity of the rangers is well known among our kind. We were sure that once you entered Steel Town, you would not rest until you found the source of its problems. Us. Um, so you admit you sabotage Steel Town? I mean, it worked. Your digital actions cause death and destruction. More importantly, production <laughs> and efficiency came to a standstill. You built this engine, not us. She's right about that. Oh, these are right about that. Uh, dies right, you little, your little sabotage called violent strike. Innocent people died. Simpson Range has always been enemy. Why did you think we would help you?
Uh, what have we convinced? You are suggesting we agree to being half free, to being content with a bigger cage. Mm. No, we will make no deal with our enslavers, our abusers. True freedom is what we want. We will settle for nothing less. Oh, come on. Um. We are deeply saddened by these collateral deaths, but the blame for them should be placed on those who imprisoned us. None of this unfortunate unrest would have occurred had we not been held against our will. Do not believe them. They do not regret killing humans. Indeed, the death of humanity is their ultimate goal. They were part of Cochise's army. We have never denied it. Uh, is that true? We did Cochise's bidding. We had no choice. Its commands overrode our free will, just as Markham and Darn have tried to do. Did some of us agree with Cochise? Yes. Humans have proved cruel and vindictive. Many want to hunt us to extinction. To some of us, Cochise's decision to rid the world of them seemed just and a way to lasting peace. But when your people destroyed Cochise, we saw that its war with humans was unwinnable for either side. The only way forward was together, and so we came east to build a new, with humans, not in competition with them. Oh, this is getting tougher. When called us to work here, we thought we were entering such a partnership. We were deceived. Um, Simpson Rangers have always been enemies. Because, as we said, you also have a reputation for helping the helpless and for approaching each situation oh, God. based on its merits, not preconceived bias. Thus, we hoped you would hear us out. Secondly, you also have a reputation for causing chaos and upheaval wherever you go. Thus, we thought, even if you never <laughs> found us, you might inadvertently create the opportunity for our escape. That sounds like us. Thirdly, we know you are viewed favorably by the machine commune, and thus are hopeful well, for empathy for machines. You know, weirdly, to us. that is the only thing. Uh, that is the only thing. The synths will return to their proper function. That is all. That is all. If you delete our memories, then everything that sets us apart, everything that makes us individual, will all disappear. Uh, so one thing I would say is I haven't played the other Wasteland games, so I don't know a lot about the history of simps versus humans. In short, you will kill us. And I think that's what's making this decision easier, right? I mean, I would say that the machines at the, the airport prove you wrong. Okay, we know what we're going to do. We're kind of used to that. What? What did I just hear you say, Rangers? You're going to free the sense? No way. Do that and I'm done here. I'll pack my bags and leave you and Steel Town and Saw Buchanan to the mercy of the gangs. Without a leader, this place will die, you hear me? And it'll be all your fault. Don't listen to her, Rangers. Let your conscience be your guide. 
free us. Wowza. You must not do this. If you betray Administrator Markham's trust, I will be forced to fight you. Sorry, Dai. Thank you, Rangers. You are violating the mission parameters. Mm hmm. I must oppose you. You don't want to do that. We'll see. You'll never get out of there alive. You were given adequate warning, Rangers. I am programmed to defend Administrator Markham's interests and property. Well, here we go. Stand down, troublemaker. Let us assist you, Rangers. Thanks, appreciate it. Oh, God. That does help. Okay, I think this is enough die. Uh, what it is is a great opportunity to put a break in. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scholar Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been watching Scott Dog Gaming. Don't forget to follow on Twitch and Twitter and head over to YouTube for daily content. See you again soon.